Hi guys, it's Tony, and it's the holidays, yay, which means I get to do a lot of crafting and decorating. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing. I already started decorating my tree, which is what I want to talk to you about. I created my own special tree ornaments using graphic stock images. Now I did a couple of different styles and it came out really beautiful. So I want to show you what I did and show you how valuable it is to have your own images to choose from. So let's get to work and um, we can start creating some beautiful ornaments for yourself. For this ornament project, I'll be looking online for some good stock photos. As an artist and graphic designer, finding the right image for my projects is very important to me. I use photo stock images a lot, so it can get very expensive for the images that I need. It usually costs me from 60 to at least $400 an image. So I was really excited when Graphic Stock contacted me with a special holiday offer. Graphic Stock is an online downloadable image company. They have the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos, vectors, and images on the internet. They have over 300,000 royalty-free images, and the cost for one year of unlimited downloads is less than it costs me to purchase one high-res image from most of the sites I've used. Now, graphic stock normally costs $99 for a year of unlimited downloads, which is incredible already. But as a special offer to my viewers, you can get a whole year of unlimited downloads for $50 off. For less than $50, you'll have unlimited access to all the images you can dream of for your craft projects. So be sure and click on the link in the information tab below to take advantage of this offer. So now let's get to work. For my first project, I'm using these large clear bulbs. I found these at Dollar Tree for a dollar each, so I picked up a whole bunch of them. And I'm gonna be using some gloss Mod Podge. I wanted to add a little bit of my New Orleans home to my tree this year, so I found some really colorful pictures that reminded me of New Orleans architecture and I printed those out on my inkjet printer on plain paper. So I'm cutting the image out to get rid of the white borders around the edges and I'm going to pour out some Mod Podge and get a nice brush. Then I'm going to tear my pieces up into um, maybe one, to one and a half inch pieces. But I'm keeping the pieces in order so I know um, how to position them on the bulb. So first I'm brushing on a nice area of my posh on the bulb. Then I'm positioning the pieces, one piece at a time. I put the piece down and then I paint over it with my posh. And then add the next piece. All the way around till it's completely covered. And you might wanna wear gloves for this. So I made a couple of these and sprinkled just a tiny bit of glitter on it while it was still wet, just to add a little sparkle for the holiday. So after it dried, it gave a nice hard shiny finish with a little bit of sparkle. And these bulbs added a nice little abstract touch of home for me. For my next ornament project, I'm using these flat glass bulbs I found at Michael's. I got these for a half price, so they were $3.99 for the pack. I'll also be using this mini wax polycrylic protective finish clear gloss spray. Now all I had to do was type in Christmas and Graphic Stock has tons of Christmas images. For these bulbs, I found some really nice vector images that I like. And the great thing about vector images when you download an EPS, you can change the file. You can bring it into your favorite program and change the colors and add or take out text and just customize it to whatever you want. So I placed my images inside circles, which were the size of my bulbs. 
about three and a half inches around. And I printed this sheet out on some glossy photo paper. Oh, and guys, I was really surprised to find this Polaroid premium photo paper at Dollar Tree. It was in the photo frame section, eight sheets for just a dollar. So I'm cutting these images out and be careful not to smudge the ink while you're cutting it. And I'm cutting about a half an inch slits all the way around the piece, each piece so that I can fold it over as it curves around the bulb. Now I'm taking these outside and I'm gonna spray the um, image face side up with the polycrylic protective spray. I'm using this as a glue instead of a um, finish right now. Then I'm gonna turn it over and center it on the bulb and carefully press down over the whole piece and then push the edges down and around and just hold it for a little bit because this paper is a lot thicker than most papers so I'm going to hold it in um, and keep it in place for a little bit as you press down and around. After you get it smoothed out you're going to spray the outside with a coating of the protective um, spray. Now you could use Mod Podge for this instead. It is much easier, but I like to using this um, clear coating because it leaves a, a cleaner finish. This is what it looks like if you use the Mod Podge. You see when it dries, it dries clear, but it leaves um, clumps that you can see and um, I want the bulb to be pretty uh, nice and clean and clear. So this is what the um, spray finish looks like. So after those pieces are dry, I'm spraying a nice coat of silver looking glass spray on the backs of the pieces to give it a nice silver metallic look and a little bit on the side. And here are my lovely graphic image Christmas bulbs. For the next ornaments, I'm using the same process as I used for the last one, but I'm using these clear soap dishes that I found at Dollar Tree to make nice framed stained glass ornaments. So I found these cool stained glass images on Graphic Stock's site and I printed them out the size of my soap dish. So again, I cut them out, cut slits in them and sprayed the front of them with the polycrylic spray and glued it to the bottom of the soap dish. Then I sprayed the back of it with the silver looking glass spray paint after it was dry. Then I measured out some ribbon so that it fits around the sides of the um, frame and had enough to make a little loop at the top. I started hot gluing the ribbon from the bottom and I put little dots of glue on the bottom and the sides and I made a little loop at the top. Then I made a bow at the top with some more ribbon around the loop. For the rest of my ornaments, I'm going to spray my clear bulbs with the silver looking glass spray paint. I'm just going to give it a light coat at the bottom of the bulbs. And if you like, you can also spritz it with some vinegar and water to give it that mercury glass effect. For this next ornament, I'm also using a polyacrylic finish, but I'm using it in a liquid form. And I'm using some small clear glass gems that I got from the Dollar Tree. On graphic stock, I found tons of flower images. So I printed out at the bottom of the first sheet, little round images of flowers. I'm going to use these at the bottom of my glass gems. So I brushed on a little bit of the polycrylic finish on the flat side of the glass gems. 
Then I cut out and placed the little images face side down onto the gems. Now with these pieces I'm going to make little image bells to go inside my Christmas bulbs. I'm going to cut a thin pretty ribbon about 20 inches long. And then I'm going to hot glue the bottom of the ribbon, the very tip of it, to the bottom of the gem. And then I'm going to hot glue another image gem on top of that. Make sure it's very centered. Looks like a little yo-yo now. Now I'm going to use a little hot glue to wrap the ribbon around the edges. And you're going to do the same for the other end using two different images. Now you're going to hold them together and put the balls inside the, the bulb just to see how high up you want them to go. And then you're going to hold your finger down in that space and tie a knot or either hot glue the ribbon together at that point. Then you can take another piece of ribbon and use it to tie a bow at the end of the pieces. Then you want to slide the little balls inside the bulb and lean the bow over the edge and you can put a little hot glue on the side of the edge to keep the ribbon in place. Then put the silver top on top. I really like how these came out. They're really elegant and subtle. They make everyone want to peek in really close to see what the beautiful little image is inside the bulb. Next I'm making some vintage looking bulbs by using these graphic stock flower images and changing them to a sepia color to make them look antique. So I printed and cut the flowers out then I cut little slits around the edges so that I could mod podge them to the bulb. I put one flower on each side of the bulb. Then I cut pieces off an antique silver relief ornament that I found at Dollar Tree. I used the pieces to frame the flowers on my bulbs. I added a sheer silver ribbon to the top and it came out simply gorgeous. I think I will be making quite a few of these. Okay, so I went a little crazy with the graphic image ornaments. I just couldn't stop. But this is my very last project. Um, so I used some salt and pepper shakers that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I found some sparkly ribbon there also. So I cut the pieces that would fit inside the jar. I cut four pieces. So I put a little hot glue on the inside of the upper part of the lip so that I could glue the ribbon inside the jar on each side. Then I cut off the excess and I hot glued some of the leftover flower gems on two sides of the jar. You can also just directly glue the images onto the ribbon and then attach that inside the jar. So to make a little um, loop to hang the ornament, I took a piece of wire and rolled it around a paintbrush just to make the rounded shape. Then I pushed the wires through the center holes of the salt and pepper shaker. I twisted it once. Then I clip the ends and push the wires apart up against the top of the lid. Then I pulled some ribbon through the loop and made a pretty bow at the top. And here's the difference between the two, inside and out. 
So I hope that gives you some fun ideas for creating your own beautiful ornaments. And don't forget to click on the link below to take advantage of Graphic Stock's $50 off unlimited images download offer. Add me on Snapchat at Your Hustle Home and Instagram at Your Hustle Home TV for daily home, food, and gardening tips.